So unless you've been living under a rock, you might have noticed that the mainstream media in the United States, ye old corporate media, really wants you to know about the Trump impeachment, which should make you very, very suspect because this is the most obvious kind of sleight of hand. Look at what the left hand is doing so you don't see what the right hand is doing. But let's put this in perspective, shall we? As, as, as we always try to do with Adam versus the man, because this look at the monkey kind of tactic, it's really not working anymore. I mean, just look at the Epstein suicide. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, in case you hadn't noticed, Jeffrey Epstein didn't commit suicide. But the response to that was for the American people to see through it, to say, oh yeah, no, 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 we're not buying this story. My favorite meme to come out of that was uh, mainstream media, Epstein commits suicide, America, and it's a thousand Alex Joneses charging towards the camera. It's like, yeah, we don't buy this crap anymore. And you should know by now, when you see the mainstream media so obsessed with a story of so little consequence, politicians fighting amongst each other, all on the same team of the corporate banking establishment, gee, do you really think this deserves so much airtime? No, it doesn't. So you're being distracted from something, obviously, but I'll come back to that. So normally I would say it's great to see government fighting, a, a, a government agents, government representatives, wh whatever you want to call the swamp people. If they fight amongst each other, they don't have as much time or energy to screw over the American people, to pass more laws in Congress. I would think of that as progress, and perhaps the Trump impeachment serves as a distraction. But you have to first ask, does he deserve to be impeached? Let me make my position absolutely clear. Yes, he does. Along with a lot of other people, but I'll come back to that too. So, high crimes and misdemeanors. The Ukraine phone call? Really, Democrats? Of all the things you thought you could float to your base that they would eat up, of all the offensive things Trump has done, the Ukraine phone call? Really? that's what you're sinking your teeth into. Now, when I looked at that story for the first time, and I, I really, I don't want to cover this. I don't. It, 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 Trump is a master of distraction. He is a master of this political sleight of hand. He is playing a certain kind of 4D chess, but not to serve the American people. No, obviously to serve his own interests. But I they don't record the phone calls. They have a transcriber and and this weird process where it's it's like piped in by audio to someone else but they can't make an actual audio recording because that could be incriminating because that was why Nixon got impeached, right? Cuz he had these recorded phone calls or at least it was some of the incriminating evidence used against him and I certainly suggest uh, similarly for many similar reasons he should have been impeached as well. But there is such a, a more offense. I mean, just even from a mainstream media understanding of government, a much more offensive reason for Trump to be impeached, one that is, it, it, it is just such a more direct, violent, obvious violation. The clear-cut case was his Tomahawk missile strikes in Syria. How many tens, hundreds of millions, it doesn't matter. The military industrial complex, for them, it's a drop in the bucket. The alleged chemical weapons attack is the excuse. Clear violation of international law, an aggressive military action, and not authorized by the Constitution. In terms of a constitutional clear-cut high crime, it does not get any more blatant than that. But... Yes, you have to consider the political maneuverings here. Perhaps Trump is losing his game of 4D chess and the powers that be are working to get Pence into the captain's chair because with Pence, maybe he'll be able to get more done for their agenda. Perhaps under a President Pence, that much more of the establishment's will will be done and don't think that he's not playing his own version of 
4D chess too. And it's interesting to see in Congress, Justin Amash is the first Republican calling for Trump's impeachment. Generally, he's a very well-known man of consistent principle, arguably the most libertarian member of Congress. And then you see in contrast, Rand Paul having gone from opposing Trump in the Republican primary when he was running against him to taking the we're going to be friendly and we're going to get policy achieved now approach. Ah, take your pick. But posted by Zero Hedge today, we saw voters in key battleground states oppose impeachment, according to polls. Yes. So maybe this is really Trump's master ploy after all to bait the Democrats into impeaching him and losing because they don't have anything, because he hasn't really done anything out of the ordinary. I mean, yeah, compared to the drone strikes against children and wedding parties and all sorts of innocent people throughout the Middle East conducted under Barack Obama's administration, the war started under the Bush administration, yeah, Tomahawk missiles, insignificant drop in the bucket. And I will say, perhaps if it is necessary, it was beautiful to see President Trump and Kim Jong-un walking hand in hand, skipping across the demilitarized zone. And I got to hand it to him. He has not really reversed the trend of a demilitarization, a de-escalation of foreign conflict, whether that's his own doing and he really deserves credit for it. Maybe time will tell. But he was clever enough to win without the popular vote after all. That's the 40 chest. But more importantly, to the Democrats. Now this is really fun. Got this from Grabian.com. Grabbing news. 98 things Democrats have said Trump could be impeached for. President Trump was only in office two weeks before a Democratic congressman called for his impeachment. Representative Joaquin Castro said he should, the House should consider impeachment uh, of the president in the event he doesn't abide by court orders related to his travel ban. So for potentially, Joaquin Castro, MSNBC 2117, for potentially ignoring court orders on his travel ban. Maxine Waters 2617, because we have to. Maxine Waters again on CNN the same day for creating chaos and division. Jerry Nadler, MSNBC, February 20, for potentially supplying damaging information. Maxine Waters, uh, I mean, you, there is a hit list here. Maybe, maybe well, well, this next one from Maxine Waters, uh, 323, for trying to, quote, undermine Hillary Clinton and therefore undermine our democracy. Yes, uh, let, I'll skip ahead. There, there are some other characters on this list. Uh, Al Green, 5-15-17, for firing Comey, Lawrence Tribe, 5-14, because he regards himself as above the law. Gee, we seen a pattern here? Uh, that, that's pretty much every president, isn't it? Uh, Tom Steyer, 10-25, uh, for being a clear and present danger to Americans. Not like the drug war that both parties support, the police state that both parties support, the militarization of police that the federal government makes possible. The, I, I, I could, I, I'll, let me get back to the funny stuff. All right, Steve Cohen, 1115, for undermining the federal judiciary, John Yarmouth, 1118, for threatening the media, Ezra Klein, 12-4, for being incompetent. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there, this I can't. I don't have time. I don't have time. I, I, this, this, this list goes on and on, for, uh, for being unworthy and despicable. Maxine Waters, three twenty seven eighteen. I mean, this, this. I, I guess I should give Nancy Pelosi a shot here because this is the, this is the best one, for betraying his oath of office. Yeah, that's, that's a quote from Nancy Pelosi, that Donald Trump should be impeached for betraying his oath of office. The oath to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, which allegedly has these great checks and balances built into it. No, 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 no. But because they're all part of the system, 
they're all a bunch of clowns. They're all swamp monsters. They're all part of this evil system. Every single Democrat and Republican in Washington, D.C. should be impeached for being the gang of thugs operating an un-American institution that is designed to exploit you and violate your freedom. Adam vs. The Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam vs. The Man.